Open Bridge Designer 2022 Release 1. For a complete list of product versions, please follow the shown link. So let's review our platform updates. OpenBridge Designer, OpenBridge Modeler, is built on the latest MicroStation Power Platform, Update 17. The civil tools included in the release are from the Open Roads 2022, Release 1. Pro Structures, Update 7, Generative Component Engine, 10.10.0.12. We are certified on the project-wise version, 10.0003.329. In the cards and the latest connection clients, as you can see. So, what's new in OpenBridge Designer 2021 to release one? Uh, we have changed the graphic uh, user interface as we now, as you will see later, we have uh, include the generative components engine inside the OpenBridge modeler part. So, we need to remove the icons corresponding to the applications. Generative components is one of them. Pro structure as well. Now you can activate the license if you have one inside OBM. So we have uh, uh, a streamline in the look of the graphical user interface or the GUI. As well, we have made a change on uh, the OpenBridge Designer OBDX file in which we use to save the DGN, a copy of the DGN inside the OBDX, not anymore. Now we just save the location information. As well, we increase the interoperability between modeling and analytics, because now we can read the steep talk girder made in OBM and send it to RMBridge for further analysis and uh, design. What are the changes in OpenBridge Modeler? Now, as in previous releases, we got a side-by-side -side installation, right? and there is a schema change. Yes, there is a schema change, like any uh, other release in OpenBridge. Yeah, every new version installs in a new folder, and also, again, you need to upgrade your current bridge files to the latest schema as we add more features into the bridge itself. So what are the primary enhancements in which you will have a video uh, on this playlist for all the enhancements that we have included? But let me mention some of the primary enhancements in OpenBridge Modeler. We added the option to do deck breakbacks. Um, these are the square ends at the end of the deck. So when you bridge is in a skew to prevent that acute angle that is formed, uh, at the edges of the deck, at the corners of the deck. So now you got the option via dialog box to specify the dimensions of what is called the breakback. Some examples of what happened with the breakback are here. So you can apply the dimensions to uh, the left and right corners at the beginning or at the end of the deck if you want to. Also, now you got the option to define your custom template for footings. In previous versions, we could only handle, I would say, rectangular footings. So now you can create a template, and that template will be used, that 2D template will be used as a section to be extruded as part of the footing and incorporated into the peer library via the dialog box so that you can create any series of custom footings as you need for the projects that you're doing. Also, in the footing, you can define pie locations. Pie locations are defined from the coordinates of the application point, usually the center of the footing. So by just defining x, y dimensions from that working point, as I said, usually the center, you can specify the number of piles that will go into your particular footing. 
So at these footings, not only apply for peers, but also as well for your abutments. There are certain limitations, as uh, not all these footings that you can create will transfer to Leverage Steel or Leverage Concrete. Uh, there is no transfer to RM at this time. Also, one of the improvements is the option to run the generative components or GC engine inside OpenBridge. This was our answer to the custom nodes or the custom structures, some of them very complex, even including decision making capabilities for some agencies doing complex abundance and peers. So the idea is now you can run the GC engine inside OBM and place your uh, complex abutments or peers there. So this is release. This is in this first release. It's just a technology preview uh, for apply that. Right? And again, you should be uh, able to create the GC component or GC programming or GC visual programming, as it's called as well, and make it a part of a node package that could be included in OBM as a node and be part of the library as well. There are some limitations into that uh, for this first release, in which we are not currently supporting yet uh, feature definitions or reports or to the decoration and item types. Uh, we are going to be improving these capabilities in future releases. Additional enhancements, again, you're going to get into the uh, upcoming playlist of the way these oil enhancements are going to work. I just give you the list here. Um, a lot of enhancements on uh, the wing wall definitions, bearing seats, cross frames, or piles on uh, the way we handle concrete beams, steel tops, uh, and bearing seats as well. Right? Now we support uh, the latest Windows 11 and also the support for the new project wise drive as it's done in uh, the microstation platform in general. The options for wing walls placement. We can follow a profile for the top of the wing wall as well. Apply vertical offsets. We also adding approach uh, slab elevation reports in addition of the already implemented deck elevations and we can also have approach slab elevation reports. Option to do a crowned um, cap again so will the top of the cap will follow now the deck cross slope. Options to fill the cheek walls as we applied. We used to have it rectangular, but then if you provide an end treatment to your cap, the cheek wall can follow that. Adjusting the bearing seats when the support is in skew. And also when you have a step gap. Now the also for modeling steel uh, structures. Uh, the connection plates now could be oriented uh, along the diagonals. It used to be just uh, horizontal. Now we can follow any orientation of the diagonals too. And also place the cross frame members by the center of gravity. Now uh, we can also use now double angles or level connectors when uh, connecting cross frames, especially to concrete beams and road shapes. We can also now vertically center the cross frames. That's only applicable to steel cross frames. We added the option that used to be in open roads, but also we include here to run linear templates. So this will and it will use the same library as Open Roads that is included there, the ITL file. Uh, this will help us to do uh, a more uh, elaborate or complex, if you want, abutment grading 
as we are able to run now uh, fully customizable linear templates for that. Enhancements on the wizard. Options to copy paste the materials tab on the materials tab and all the other elements as well. We can specify individual pile rotations. So now each of the piles, if you need to, could be rotated at a different angle. We this is a kind of an internal enhancement in which we can you can provide a minimum and maximum value on parametric cells. So it's kind of a user trapping or you are uh, constraining the user that is entering parameters to the parametric cell or the functional component that you created not to play any uh, random value, just limited by a minimum and maximum range. Concrete diaphragms between beams. The beam ends, now normal to the alignment as well. As we mentioned before, the transfer to steel tops moderating OBM to leverage steel or RM. So you place any uh, custom peer or custom abundance using our functional components. So now we can establish that through We'll show that into our input echo report. Now there are some config variables that you can set up, especially when uh, some organizations have created a very long list of item types that sometimes even escape from the range of the screen. So you got the option through a dialog box to consolidate that list and not show it to you. Only through the Explorer dialog, not from the mouse uh, pointer. So it's a consolidated form as it's going to show rather than a fully open dialog box. And control the length of the bearing support lines now through a config variable. We can define as well the pay unit for barriers not just length, not just area, not just volume, but different uh, unit definitions. Too. We can name points on the deck elevation report. So again, we usually report the deck elevations on the ones that you name it in your template, right? So now you can specify specific points on along your deck without the need of redefining that uh, and then it will report on that for the deck elevations that you need. And again, specific points. Say uh, setting options. Now we are separating the uh, enhancing the CAD standards, which now almost every element has different levels, especially in uh, the bearing here the bearing line with the bearing text. So it's separated now, so it's just a matter of turning off certain levels. You don't want to see that when you're producing your final class. It's certified for Windows 10, as we mentioned before. This is the new project-wise drive that it's included, so it synchronizes with um, your Windows Explorer if you need to. Then this will be the repository will be project-wise. Then we also report on the volume of the deck and the top surface area uh, as part of the, the properties in the dialog box. Still, we still have uh, what we call minor enhancements in OpenBridge Modeler. These are done automatically. There is no, no tool, basically. It's just adjusting the way we produce our support lines. There is a copy option when you're setting up maybe multiple beams. It's easier to cut and paste rather than typing information. 
help. It's a little bit easier to access now. Take template values as well. Adjusting a little bit of the support labels, which we don't have the um, B value will be text signifying that it's a bridge stationing or it's coming from a roadway stationing. I think the station or the bridge is the station or the bridge. Installation, we can install, if you wish, local product documentation if it's optional, or just a configuration. We rename some items into a ribbon just to clarify and avoid confusion. We added in the default library uh, sidewalks, so we recognize now the sidewalk item and it's part of our library now. Just to place it, you have to use the barrier commands. An addition to that was missing in our pull down menu there is the ability to import horizontal points from a masky file. So you can use it in many different forms. Uh, for example, what I mean, as I've shown here, if you generate the elevations, uh, these come from a masky file. Uh, so or it generates an ASCII file, and then from an ASCII file, you may generate an actual terrain and deck contours. So there are agencies that are required to show you deck contours. Uh, your drainage engineer may uh, request that as well to analyze the deck drainage. So you can, with, through the ASCII points, and then using our terrain tools, you can generate, uh, let's call it quote unquote, a terrain or a DTM of the deck surface. We added more information into the item types. Hodge material now, it may have a different uh, concrete material if you select so. And also available as an item type. Some improvement on the dialogues and Stephen Wizard. Right? And the terrain selection as well is set up. Now, more improvements on the lead bridge concrete analytical side of it. So we did a lot of enhancements uh, as per request of Pennsylvania DOT. And these enhancements include some state specification on how they handle the light loads and reinforcement. More general, some P delta calculations and reporting. Only bridge steel, same. We accommodated a lot for the needs of Pennsylvania DOT. There is some quite uh, specific characteristics, so it's part now of a state specification within the software. And the same is how they handle central modification factors, there's some real day life load positioning, and trucks as well. And, and then general analytical options. We include now uh, wing load effects in the design code check of the superstructure, for example. RM Bridge, uh, well, now we're more advanced, the most advanced uh, design solution. So general analytic enhancements, especially on the shell results. Uh, and then uh, this shear superposition action uh, in the software for the end results presentation for us. Some other general enhancements, some bug fixes too. These are all the enhancements in this release. Thank you.